Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy Self with Perfectly Blended Competition Barbecue, a proud member of the Oklahoma Joe's Pro Team. Today, we're going to be doing up some chicken legs, getting some practice in for a competition in a couple of weeks. We're going to be using Royal Oak Charcoal as our fire source. We're going to go with the Mojo Bricks Barbecues for our Flavor Town today as well. We've got 20 chicken legs all seasoned up and they're resting in the refrigerator right now. The first thing I'm gonna do is show you how I go about lighting my Oklahoma Joe's Bronco Pro. There's numerous ways to get your Oklahoma Joe's Bronco Pro up to temp. You can light the charcoal basket itself or you can put some charcoal in there and then light the chimney and dump it over in there, which is my preferred method. I take my, my roll of charcoal, get a little, about a quarter of the basket full. And I go ahead and I lower it back down inside here into the chamber. My little container here with my tumbleweeds. I take a Royal Oak tumbleweed. Oklahoma Joe's makes some great tumbleweeds as well, but I do use the Royal Oak brand. Put it inside my chimney. Dump a little bit of my lump charcoal in there. Come around here. Fire up my torch. Stick it right underneath where the tumbleweed is located. And let the lump charcoal get that heat going. And then once I dump this over into the Bronco Pro, I'll take one of my cherry barbecues from Mo Mojo Bricks, lay it directly on the fire. As you can see, my chimney's just about ready to dump into my Bronco Pro. Uh, these coals have only been going for about five to 10 minutes. This Royal Oak charcoal doesn't take long to heat up and it burns extremely hot. That's why I only put a quarter of a basket in here plus what I've got in my chimney to cook my chicken leg because it's just gonna be a short, quick cook. Once I dump it in there, I'm gonna put my barbecue cherry from Mojo Bricks on top of the ashes directly, get that good cherry smoke. Also, as if you notice, I do not have any temp controls, no fans or anything on my Bronco Pro. These drums simply do not need it. I'll still be able to maintain the perfect internal temperature and I'll be keeping an eye on that with my ink burnt thermometer. Okay, our coals are ready. We're gonna get them dumped inside the Bronco Pro, get our grate on, get our ink burnt thermometer set on top of the grate so we can maintain our temp. Once it comes up to temp, I'm looking at about 275 degrees. Then I'll put the chicken legs on and we're gonna roll some smoke for some great eating for supper tonight. Dump them in there. Take our Mojo Bricks Cherry Barbecue. Lay it right on there. Got our heat deflector. And then our grate. Stick our probe through here. And shut the lid. I keep my valve back here all the way open. The intake on the side, I put it on about two and a half just to control my temp, control the airflow. In about 15 to 20 minutes, we'll be putting the legs on. Okay, after looking at our ink bird thermometer here, it's already up to 268 degrees, and I just dumped these coals inside the drum not even 10 minutes ago, so it's coming up pretty fast. With that said, I'm gonna go ahead and back my intake down just a hair so I don't go over my target temp. And I'm gonna go ahead, got two pans of legs on here, we're gonna get those on, and we're gonna have some good eating in about an hour and a half. Well, it's been about 35, 40 minutes since we put the chicken drumsticks on the Bronco Pro. And we've come out here and the thermostat is still, the ink bird is reading 277 degrees. So it's been maintaining solid 275 to 280 between that area for the last 35 to 40 minutes. We're gonna take a quick look at our chicken legs and see what how we're doing right now. Right now they're looking good. Fixing to give them a little spritz of some magic blue bottle. 
and let them rock on for about another 30 minutes. Put a temp probe on them, see where we're at. Well, I just pulled my drumsticks off and sauced the best six that I had. I'm still having an issue with my skin drawing back. I do thighs in competition. I do not do drumsticks. So this is still a learning curve for me uh, and my wife. Um, we're still doing our best. We're gonna keep grinding. We're gonna keep practicing. But right now, like I said, I sauced the best six. Here they are. They've got a good color to them. So I'm fixing to pull them off, take them in and let them rest a minute. And that way we can get a good bite through and see what the flavor profile that we had for them is. It's the same flavor profile that I run on my thighs. Um, but we're going to keep practicing. Probably won't run drumsticks at our competition in a couple of weeks. Who knows? We might. Might just throw a curveball in there and cook thighs and drumsticks and see which one does the best. But until then, keep smoking.